So if you want to make fairy wings for your cat or dog this Halloween, um, here's a quick little tutorial. Uh, so the first step is that you want to make sure that you have some construction paper. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. You're going to need cellophane. Uh, you can buy tons of cellophane on Amazon for super cheap. Um, and what else do you need? You need some patience too, because this kind of takes a little bit of time to cut out the wings. As far as finding a good pattern, just look up um, butterfly wing template on Google Images and you will find something like this. Uh, and that is pretty much all you need, this first one or the second one. Um, you want to make sure you are good with copyright, so anything that kind of comes from nature is totally fine to use. Uh, don't steal um, other designs from other people, obviously, especially if you're going to try to sell fairy wings. So, um, But yeah, anything that's like a natural butterfly design is fine. So this is basically just how butterfly wings look. <laughs> so. It's fine. If you want to use what I have right here, take a picture. You can use this little design here. And the next step is that you are going to need some wire. So I have 17 gauge wire. So you need something kind of like this. So it's two pieces of wire and one goes like that and one goes like that. And then I have masking tape to connect the two. And then you got to make sure you put masking tape on the edge. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm making a mess put masking tape on the edges for two reasons uh one because you don't want your cat to stab itself or stab you if it comes and attacks you while it's spraying these things and um also because it will make a nice little taper if that makes sense so instead of having a blunt edge you have this little taper that will kind of uh, it makes things a little more seamless a little more blended instead of just having like a blunt little edge and then what we're gonna do you want to make sure so this is what's gonna take you a while is just getting them to kind of conform to the shape of the wings so I have mine bent correctly and so we got the top part done here and uh, basically I'm just like laying tape down and I'm letting it hit the um, backing whatever this is and then with my exacto knife i cut the tape down again if you can see like that's why it's pretty precise again cut the fuzzy pieces away as good as you can because you don't want those to like mess up the look of these fairy wings the exact same thing like that um and put the uh, tape over the top of this okay so this is what we have right now and it's not perfect you can see there's like little bumps and stuff but i once again don't really care so i hope this is gonna make sense so i'm going to put a little bit of glue on here kind of a lot and the idea is that so you might want to just use a spray adhesive that might be easier but i don't have one so i'm just having this clear glue I'm painting it on and make sure you paint it on the side that is not colored so cellophane has two sides one side has the coloring and the other side is usually clear and you want to make sure you're on the regular side the glue probably won't do anything to the cellophane but just to be safe um, you want to make sure that you are not um, doing anything you will regret later and then I'm actually gonna cut this real quick glued on here you're gonna take a little more glue put it kind of wherever you want it to focus on the veins because that is the most important part that the cellophane sticks um, and I was kind of naughty here so it's not as flat as it could be because we've got this little ball of cellophane right here Okay, you want to be also really careful with your wings here because they're paper, the glue does make them a little soggy and wet, so you just want to be kind of extra careful. Okay, so you see what's going on? We have the top layer and the bottom layer, and then we're going to put this down on here. I hope you're seeing what's happening. My camera setup is not good. Okay, and then I have an iron, it's not even on, and I'm just using it to press down. Right here are the finished wings. I put a little bit of ribbon or just fabric around the middle and 
have a little strap. I'm just gonna tie it onto <laughs> one of my cats. I feel like elastics would be easier if you wanted them to wear this for a longer time. Um, but you can, I mean, like, do whatever is gonna work the best for you. You might need elastics. You could put it on a harness that they're already wearing for, like, your dog or cat. That might be easy. Um, you know, there's different ways you can go about making the little mount part. She's not feeling them. <laughs> I, I tied it. It's loosely tied, but I tied it in a really stupid way, so <laughs> it's not her fault for not liking them. Uh, but she's very cute. Hi, sweetie. Yo, are you a beautiful butterfly? Yeah, wow. She's glittery and sparkly. <laughs> you can see how badly I tied it on. I promise it's not tight. I can fit my finger through. Uh, oh, you're gonna roll around. Wow. So what would work way better is if you have a harness for your cat and you just attach the wings to the harness or something that goes in your arms. <laughs> Don't just tie it around your cat. That's like not going to work at all. That's like stupid. <laughs> it looks stupid. But that's the basic idea and I think it is really cute. Wow. You look beautiful. Even though <laughs> she's crouching. She's like, what are you doing? What is this? Do you like him? Wow. So it's okay. Ki -ki -ki. No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. He does not like these. He does not like them at all. It's okay. Look at you. Wow. Oh, nope. They're gonna fall.